Hi everyone and welcome to a Bork No Game video. Today's video is on counter side mistakes to avoid so let's go ahead and jump right into this. One of the first things is checking out our heroes and talking about them. I know I have a lot of SSR units but one of the things that I want us to avoid is getting too obsessed with the SSRs and rolling too many of them. What happens is is Esterosa Elizabeth Chinatsu Chufuyu will get outperformed by future units. A lot of the SSR units that you might want to reroll for or spend time trying to get they will be outclassed in the future. Kyle is maybe like the only one that doesn't really get power crept too much all right and when it comes down to this the beginner roles will actually provide one ssr unit guaranteed three sr characters and six rares it's actually more important to get like maybe someone like kyle or zhao or esterosa whichever character that you want to use kyle is going to be the meta pick in case you're wondering and then you pretty much go with more sr units an ideal role would be kyle with the pink hair chick but you actually get her for free we'll talk about that more this old man right here this healer she's the best one and this chica right here with like the little mafia looking deal to her she's going to be a really great unit and try to get one copy of this defender in particular you'll get a copy of her as you progress through story but she'll be nice as another defender for your other team all right this sort of flows into our next tip where i don't want us to be building too many teams at once so if you click this like little three bar section right here this is going to be presenting you with the teams one of the mistakes that i pretty much had when starting out this game was i built seven units on each team at once this is a huge mistake you can definitely run a team with four units, level them all up appropriately, balance them out, make sure your team has at least one tank sort of, or you can just run, you know, Kyle or something like that and a healer, and you should be pretty good, right? Don't try to run too many like tanks in the game just because of the fact that they don't really deal DPS and you need like DPS in order to counter all of the enemies that are going to be popping up in the field. You don't want too many tanks at the same time, and it's more about early progression and pushing your story as much as possible. Yes, tanks are absolutely important. And one thing to note here is you can see I'm using the old man twice. So if I go back to the hero section right here, this is going to show like all the heroes that I have, right? You can see I have two copies of the old man and I can put them on two separate teams in case you want to flow your team that way. Yes, you can definitely do that in case you're like, oh, I don't have enough defenders within my team. Next thing I want to focus on is your mail. Do not just claim everything willy nilly all at once. Make sure to keep your stamina within the mail so that your stamina is constantly refreshing and constantly working. If you just claim your stamina and next thing you know, you have to have like 20,000 stamina spent within the game. Don't do that to yourself and force yourself to play counter side too long leave the stuff in the mailbox as you see appropriate don't just hit the claim all button and all of a sudden have issues trying to manage your stamina so you can maximize it you want to make sure that your stamina is always available so you're progressing within the story appropriately all right and this brings us to the next thing where you're pretty much getting the pre-registration rewards. so here are going to be the pre-registration rewards we're going to get a little bit of exp we're going to get some gear quartz and some apt cores this is used for dupes and we are also getting the free copy of sylvia we're also going to be getting a free multi as soon as we jump into the game so what happens is, is we're going to be getting the beginner roles and we're going to get a free multi from the pre-registration reward some of you are probably wondering though okay with that being said should i be summoning as soon as i start the game right this is going to be the summon section right here and all i have to say with summoning is yes it's okay to do you know one multi all right but don't go too crazy trying to summon like a lot of units at once because like I said earlier, you're only going to need like those eight units in the very beginning. You don't need a huge roster of units. You just need them so that you can fill everything out and tackle the story content appropriately because your main focus should be jumping into the story as soon as possible with your eight core unit. Let's go ahead and jump into the most important part of this game when you start and this should be your main grind. This is like the hardest thing to acquire in the game that's going to just be jumping in here and constantly farming gold. Now, this is like a thing that tells me that I can go back to what I was doing, which was pretty much farming a lot of gold within story. The more gold you have, the better your account will be because gold is king in this game. Without gold, you cannot pretty much progress. The reason why I'm saying that some of you are probably wondering, how is gold like that effective? So you can see here, while we're pretty much upgrading this character, we're leveling her up. There is a loyalty system, even though it costs more credits, it's going to be advantageous to you in order to expend this gold. The reason why the loyalty system is so amazing is because loyalty effects actually give you bonus stats. So yes, it's going to be worth it to expend as much gold as possible in order to get your characters even stronger as you progress through the game. Gold is going to be your main grind, so you're always going to be in story trying to farm as much gold as possible because without gold, your characters will not be stronger. If your characters aren't strong enough, you won't be able to progress within the game. 
So make sure to always farm gold so you can increase their loyalty effect so that you can get more stats as you're pretty much leveling up within the game because this is going to be an important factor and it's something that I failed to realize where I was like, all right, I'll just cheap out on like the gold. I'll just appeal to passion and you know can't obtain a little bit of loyalty but that loyalty like a long ways away so make sure to keep progressing within story farm as much gold as possible because if you just ignore the gold your characters will not like you to say the least all right so speaking of that let's go ahead and jump out of this section that's going to be like an auto fight right there so now that you know how to like farm gold and everything let's talk about one more team tip when it comes to all this all right now i know there's only going to be four units per team and i said it earlier make sure to have at least one tank or one character that can act as a tank. Kyle can act as a tank for this team. My number one team, my acting tank is going to be this guy right here. He's absolutely amazing, so don't sleep on him. Go ahead and jump into the shop. If you click like this three bar section right here, you go into like this little cart menu. This is going to be the shop within the game, all right? Now this is going to be like the paid-ish shop, so there's gonna be a lot of different things that you can look at, but it requires premium currency. If you click the shopping cart again, and then you click this middle one right here, this is going to be showing you the actual in-game shop. Note here, this is a summon currency. Your focus in the shop should always be buying out summon currency. Don't focus on the other things because the more summons that you can get, the more summons that you can save, the better off you are because the dupe materials, they're kind of finite in some situations because you can only obtain a certain amount within the day, all right? All the other sections within the shops, they're not really like that important. Early on in the game, we'll talk about them as we progress in the future. But just note here, there is going to be a way to obtain gear. I believe this is going to be from like the arena system and stuff. Yes, arena is going to be a playing an important factor within the game. Just note that the important parts to the shop is getting more summon currency and try not to waste your quartz because this is going to be a premium currency in order to do more summons, all right, in order to get skins and other like factors that will play out in the game. Quartz is going to be an important currency that you're always gonna want on hand. Next thing that I want us to go, if you jump into the home menu, is never forget about the achievements right here. I showed it earlier in one of my videos but this is going to be the place that you can always acquire a bunch of things as you can see it's going to be giving me a lot of stamina but it's also going to be giving me like exp it's gonna be giving me like the infos and all the skill training materials so make sure to jump in here frequently check this out get all of the free things do like the missions and stuff do your dailies this right here is like fodder material that you can use for your characters but always check your achievements because there's something that's going to be here. This is going to be like limit breaking stuff. This is like shards for a character to make them even stronger. All right, so this is going to be the dungeon section. Now, I've talked about this dungeon section before. You're going to be unlocking like level 5 as soon as possible. Try to complete level 15 within the first day. I know it's gonna be a difficult ask, and then level 30 for this pretty much area, and then level 30 for this area. That's going to be a tough ask, I know, for some day one players, but if you really wanna push it like to the maximum degree, you know, you can definitely go into 15 and then 30. Just don't ignore this dungeon area, even if you can't do 15 yet, or you can't do 30 yet, make sure to complete all of your runs because this resource is very finite. It's hard to do extra dungeon runs, this is gonna be where you're getting your skill training, all of your dupe materials. So make sure to do the dungeons every single day because this is going to be important. Another section that might not be available, but we'll talk about it anyways. This is going to be like where you can get gear. So don't sleep on this place. It's not really like that pointed out easily. And this is going to be molds. Molds are going to be used in order to create gear. If you're wondering how do you create gear really quick, if you jump right here, you saw like the little like wrench icon. This is going to be a place where you can essentially make gear within the game. I showed it previously, but just in case you've not watched any of the videos, pretty much go here you select the mold there's different like molds to fit the criteria of the character that you are using all right so make sure to use appropriate molds so you can build the correct characters yes there's other sections in here but the most important part that we should focus on is on the gear make sure to make gear in the beginning of the game so you can make those two piece sets that we talked about make sure to watch my other video in order to learn more about the gear system all right and the last thing that we need to talk about, jump back into the home menu, is going to be the idle section right here. Please do not forget about this place as you unlock it within the game. I know it's going to be tempting to pretty much get like this eight hour like mode. Do not, you know, spend your time doing like the eight hour mode in the beginning, unless it has like this quartz. I've never seen this quartz. You should get the quartz because quartz is a premium currency. 
but you're gonna need this info in order to tackle the tower mode. After you get like some info, this is the stuff that's going to be appearing right here. Make sure to jump in the tower modes in order to get more gear in case you get stuck. I ignored this section. This is gonna be a great place to get free resources, free gear. So always jump in here, get as far as possible in order to get free stuff within the game. It's gonna be like sort of any tower mode where the more you progress, the more stuff that you get, the stronger that you'll get in game. So don't be like me and ignore this section, all right? With that all being said i covered as much as i can we're going to cover one more thing this is going to be a bonus tip and this is going to be the upgrade section right here all right now when it comes to this one of my biggest mistakes when i started the game this section right here is going to be what you use your fodder for and i don't advise using your fodder in order to level up the character's base stats you can see it's like plus 293, plus 8, plus 15. It's really small gains, not to mention it costs 4,500 gold. It's just much better if you go back here into the main menu and then you jump into the hero section right here. You click the little trash box and then you sell some heroes off, all right? This is just going to be much better. As you can see, we're pretty much getting dupe materials. Sometimes you get gold, like as you can see. It's going to just be much better in order to sell units, in order to get more stuff, in order to progress your units appropriately. Don't be like me and try to use them for pretty much limited stats because that's just not the way to do it. And of course, be frugal with your SR units. Don't just sacrifice all of the ones just because you don't need the character. Who knows? Maybe that SR unit could be better for your team because it's going to be much easier to build them since you have so many dupes of them. Them, all right another thing just in case you're wondering about the dupe system click like the beaker right here you're like oh Bork like how does the dupe system work like because we were covering it earlier right so this is right here the dupe system now if we click like for example this character she has like three dupes right here and pretty much select her and it'll be like oh this is the dupe that I can use but if I deselect her right and there's zero I can use like these blue cubes available to me in order to increase her stars so make sure to note these APT cubes that you're going to be getting within the game, it's also going to be part of the pre-registration rewards that I talked about earlier. They're going to be very important right here. The APT core box that's going to be providing you dupe materials. So use those dupe materials specifically for your SSR units. What am I talking about? These are going to be our SR units. I can't select them right now because when they're in battle, so since they're in battle, they can't be used, but lo and behold, make sure to save these red cubes for your SSR units because you're probably not going to be getting dupes for these characters. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we hit 20,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. One more thing, don't forget to do your free poll every single day within the summons right here. And this is going to be our free poll right here. What are we going to be getting? Here's the summon animations right there. Pull down the hatch, we got a one star. It's absolutely fine. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and see you in the next one.